going to get two more cards. Sorry, the, the, the cards are very, very slippery. I've had them for about a year now, but for some reason they are still, they feel very new to me. Okay, so one and two. Okay, yeah, so once again, don't um, overexert uh, or don't over uh, overspend. So that's the major thing I'm sensing here. Um, first of all, one of the things I'm sensing is um, I feel like negative emotions, okay? Negative emotions brewing. And this deals with possibly envy, jealousy. I feel like a lot of envy, jealousy, wanting the life that somebody else has and wanting, I feel like for a lot of you, there is a sense of like um, feeling a little bit stuck, a little bit um, weighed down by responsibilities. And as a result of it, you feel as if you just want to get away. You just want to break out and do something drastically different, do something crazy, like color your hair or even um, taking a trip where somebody, no one knows you and just, you know, just like shrugging off responsibility and just breaking away. For a lot of you, I feel that way for a lot of you. Um, I also feel that for those of you in a um, coupled relationship, there is potentially talks of taking the relationship to the next level. I do feel that. And um, right now you're getting cold feet, okay? And it's it's really, it's, it's a major, major step. So it's not something that we all can take lightly or should take lightly. So the cold feet that you're getting is definitely normal. So sit with it, let it marinate and, you know, let it sift out, okay? Uh, sift through it and give it some time to settle, give yourself some time to process the what exactly is happening before you decide. It's completely normal to get cold feet. So let's go through this reading. In the past position, we do have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position. Once again, this feeling very, very stuck, okay? Making a lot of money. I feel that a lot of you are making a lot of money. And there's a lot of, um, you know, at the same time, you're working very diligently you're getting positive reception at work as well. And I do sense that as a result of it, money is coming through. But in terms of personal enjoyment, the ability to take time off, the ability to, I feel like you're keeping yourself very busy on the work front. And as a result of it, the ability to take time off is not there just yet. So you're feeling a little bit kind of like over, I would say, I wouldn't say overworked, but I do feel that there is a lot of work that has to be done there is possibly a lot of activities, you know, side activities that you're keeping yourself busy with. So you, you do want some alone time. So carve out that alone time for, for yourself. A lot of the time with fire signs, um, you crave social interaction, but it can burn you out. But when you get burned out, you don't realize it. So then you become like kind of grouchy without knowing why. So I feel that it's really important for you to pay attention to your body for a lot of you, it's really important to do that, okay? We do have the Empress card, and especially for women out there, regardless of your gender identification, for women out there, really listen to your body and heed what it's telling you. If you feel yourself exhausted and getting, if you feel yourself like getting grouchy, it's because you are emotionally or energetically burned out. So minimize, you know, social interaction, taking adequate time off for yourself, where you can, you know, um, take care of house ch chores around the house or whatever it is. Um, keep a neat and orderly environment. Otherwise, it is going to cloud your thinking, okay? So if you're like feeling very grouchy for no reason, I do feel that it's because you're tired and your body, you're not listening to your body. So take care of things like that. Do some relaxation, meditation, whatever you can, like by the end, um, at the end of the night, just to unwind to siphon off that energy to you know find a, a positive outlet for that energy it will also help you sleep okay so with the empress in the reverse it's a situation where we feel as if we're not in control of our lives and a lot of the time it feels as if we want to expand our territory we want to branch out we want to travel a lot of the time it has to deal with travel it has to deal with you know making a lot of money and then wanting to use that money in a way that is expansive okay so it usually deals with travel having like that um taking time off for yourself what is crossing it here is the star card and the star card deals with healing the star is also wishes aspirations and this is kind of like our higher calling 
reaching out to us, okay? I do feel for a lot of you, your soul wants to expand, it wants to travel, and it wants to transcend things that are happening around you, like the mundane, the minutia of the day. Getting, you know, getting the dishes, doing the dishes, cooking for yourself, and all of those things, putting the kids to bed. And you feel as if, you know, there has to be more out there, like, there has to be more to my life. I feel that a lot of you are comparing your lives with people that you see. And I feel like the, the people are very, very virtual. So this can be, you know, like people on TV, people in the movies, people on some type of social media platform where they project themselves um, in their most glamorous light. And um, just know that it's not real. It's more of a facade that people put out there in order to sell, in order to, you know, publicize themselves. But I feel like in the process of you dealing with the minutia of everyday life, you're looking and you're aspiring to something else and you're looking up to, to somebody else. But everyone has their own problems when going through life. It's just the images that they project out there. You're, um, don't be fooled by it is my advice, okay? Just know that you have just as much to be proud of in your own life. So for a lot of you, you might look at people who are traveling a lot, for example, and you feel like, wow, that's so glamorous. I wish I can just like drop all of my responsibilities and just take off the way that they do. And a lot of you are dealing with people who are very glamorous and you feel like, I wish I had that lifestyle. And, and you know, we've all been there, but it's really important to bring this energy down to earth, okay? What is in the foundation here is the Ace of Coins. And the Ace of Coins is very, it's a very, very good card. It's a very positive, financially stable card. When it's in the reverse position, it means that money is coming through for you. But you also have to think about how you're going to make the money last, okay? So when it's uh, in the upright, I usually think of it, especially with this card, this is an endless uh, supply of money, finances. When it's in the reverse, you do have to work for it. And it's there is a finite amount. And it's also a situation where money is leaving your pockets as well. So a lot of you might have to do some type of repair, possibly around the house. A lot of you might be in a situation where you're spending like a lot you're you're buying you're making small purchases but i feel like it's starting to add up because you want to you're craving this really glamorous lifestyle and there's nothing wrong with indulging and buying things that are good that you want but you want to just be very careful okay along with the devil card the devil card indicates addictions it indicates things that um things that we knowingly you know allow to hold us back from living our lives, okay? This can be mortgage, this can be obligations, this can be an overwhelming sense of responsibility to other people that is really preventing us from, from living our lives. So I feel like starting this month or, you know, starting February or even in um, the, for the next two weeks, a lot of you really want to break out of your shell, but there are a lot of responsibilities piling on as well. There is the practical in terms of, you know, making money, paying rent, paying the bills and things like that. So it, it seems like very, very um, mundane types of things that you feel are really, really weighing you down. And it's it's um, blocking you from seeking, you know, more of a, I guess, inner peace. Inner peace is a little bit difficult to achieve coming in for this month. Um, I'm going to say for the next two weeks, for example, if you have had you know, like a, um, an addiction, like smoking, drinking, anything, I feel that you might be a little bit tempted to use it as an, uh, as a form of escapism. So it's something very, you want to be careful about. I feel like envy, you know, like looking at another person's life and thinking about comparing their life to yours and feeling inadequate as a result. And I feel like it can flow, you know, both ways, but I, I do feel for a lot of you, you're kind of going, drudging through the mundane of, you know, the, the mundane activities of everyday existence. And you, you're telling yourself, like, there has to be more to life than this. That's what I'm sensing. So in terms of the advice, we do have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is 
This is usually when I, I see this card, not in this deck so much, but it's usually a uh, paternal figure, okay? This is also your energy or the another fire sign that you're dealing with. What I'm getting here is that you need to travel. You really, really need to do something um, outside of your geographical location, okay? This can be taking a very short trip, go fishing, go somewhere by yourself in order for you to... Um, get in touch with nature, get in touch with, you know, your soul's purpose. I feel like for a lot of you, it's the mundane things, you know, trying to sustain yourself every day that is kind of like crippling your sense of adventure. So you need to really do something adventurous, go for a hike, do something that you don't normally do. And I feel it is going to restore your urge or your need for adventure in your life. Okay. So doing this would be really good for you. I feel that a lot of you are facing time constraints and you might not want to do this at the same time. Um, I feel that, you know, for whatever form of recreation that you normally do or you normally rely on, I do sense that, for example, if you, if your idea of fun is going camping in the woods, I feel that in your external environment, the people are kind of, they're either sick, recuperating from something, or they're just not as, um, as willing to do it. A lot of people in your environment are not as adventurous. So you really need to seek more like-minded people, or at least branch out and do things on your own. Do more things on your own rather than relying on another person to do it with you and to bring the fun. I feel that for a lot of you, it is really important for you to try to branch out, okay? Um, I know that with a fire sign, you are very people-oriented as well. But in this situation, if you're dealing with some sense of like deep-rooted dissatisfaction, it means your soul wants you to travel and it usually means that the answers are found within. So being around a lot of people is going to detract you or will act as a distraction to you to in the process of allowing you to figure out what it is that you're really missing in your life, okay? I do feel that traveling, going fishing, going to a place near water is going to be able to help you mellow out a little bit. So in terms of your external environment, this is um, the four of it's the Four of Swords, and usually this card indicates spiritual ascension. This is rising to the next energetic level, and this is um, usually associated with, um, it's in your external environment. So I do feel, I do feel that this is coming in from other people where they might feel a little bit burned out, so they're retreating, okay? I don't feel that they're retreating from you, but a lot of the people around you it seems as if they are growing. They are growing. So they might be a little bit out of touch. They might be difficult to get a hold of. They might be, I don't feel they're avoiding you. They're dealing with their own problems and they're, they're withdrawing inward, okay? So if you're looking for fun and excitement, I do feel that the people around you might not yet be ready for, for this type of excitement. So I feel that you're, you're going to have to do things on your own and you're going to have to as well Try to find whatever it is that you're passionate about and pursuing that and, and branching out and making new friends, okay? Um, in terms of your hopes and fears, I feel as if we have the Ace of Cups, and I'm going to say this, I don't feel other people are avoiding you. You might feel that way because it's hard to reach them, but everyone is dealing with their own things. So it's really important for you to be patient, and it's also really important for you to... Um, Reach out, but leave things alone until the other person is ready to respond, okay? So that's that's what's going to um, really make things a lot more stable for you in your social interactions. Um, I'm trying to see here. In terms of your outcome, what we do have here is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands, this is a card about victory. It's a card about being in the limelight. It's a card about a lot of social entertainment, like, you know, going out, being the life of the party. When it's in the reverse position, I feel once again that this is what you want. You want to do it big and you have a lot of energy. You have a lot of just, you know, stamina, energy, and you want to be go where things are happening to, you want to be in a place to be seen and heard. And I feel that, you know, your usual 
posse, the, the usual people that you normally do those activities with, they're kind of um, withdrawing this month and they want to lay low. A lot of them might just be sick with the flu, but I feel that in general, they're, they're, they feel as if, I honestly feel this, they feel as if they're getting too old in, to, to do it anymore. And a lot of them might just, they, they might be burned out with the nightlife, okay? So for a lot of you watching this, I feel that it's a younger crowd and your friends and you, you might be hitting different paths in life and different points in your life where, you know, people want a little bit more, where they might feel a little bit burned out from partying and drinking. And as a result of it, when you feel like you want to go out, you have like an endless pool of energy when you want to go out because you finish like major, major projects. I feel that the people around you want to do something else. They want a, a more of a mellow type of um, gathering. Okay. So gathering at somebody's homes possibly, or even like not going out and partying so hard. I, I feel like that's what's happening here. So, the advice here is, I do sense for a lot of you, you have to mellow out a little bit. And I also feel as well that going to a place near water is going to really help you. It's going to bring a new sense of excitement because I don't, I don't feel a lot of you do that. And, you know, going fishing, going camping or something, finding a stream and just relax by the beach or something like that. Unless you have a lot of water in you, I don't feel you naturally seek out those places in order to calm down. I, I don't feel you naturally seek out those things. So it would be in your best interest, if you can, to try and do that. And I do sense that the people around you, they're not ignoring you or anything like that, but I do feel that they're a little bit burned out. And I feel as if they have been trying to keep up with your energy level. You're kind of like um, blazing through life. And I feel like they're trying to keep up but they're they're not um, energetically they they can't keep up okay so they might be a little bit burned out so i feel like in terms of friendships in terms of friendships um a lot of you might be hitting like crossroads where you're kind of deciding especially um you want to be around positive people so you don't want people that will hold you back or people that will suck the fun out of things okay so this is specifically for friendships um so I, I feel that, you know, branching out, looking for new friends, expanding your circle of friends is going to be better for you. I do feel that whatever was um, important in your life before is kind of taking a backseat. So your taste and your preferences when it comes to friendships and when it comes to relationships as well have been changing. And I feel like for a lot of you, you might be dealing with another fire sign. So fire signs are... Um, Leo Sagittarius or another Aries okay so your tastes and partners have been changing and I do feel for a lot of you you might be dating somebody who is very very energetic and you might also be trying to keep up and you realize that you know this is not fun for me anymore I, I do want a little bit more stability I want something else in my life okay I, I'm not chasing the high anymore so for a lot of you it's kind of like withdrawal withdrawal symptoms where you were on an emotional roller coaster you were you know going through this emotional high with another person and then you realize that that's not me anymore I, I do want more you know R and R. I do want more. Um, I do want something that is a little bit more emotionally stable or even nurturing. I'm done with seeking excitement and jumping from one high to the next. So I feel like your preferences are changing. Your tastes are changing. You're seeking special things in your new associations or in your new friendships or in your new partnerships. You want something else. You want something that is. Um, that is less work, I feel. For a lot of you, you might be burned out from having to be the one in pursuit, the one that is planning everything. So for example, you're thinking about a trip and you know, you're know you in with a partner and you're the one that is very proactive about planning and you've always been the planner. And now you're just like, I don't have the time to do it. Why don't you step up to the plate and you know do that part, like take care of the logistics. So I feel that you're waiting around hoping that the other person would somehow meet you halfway. And I feel like the, 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 the chase is not fulfilling for you anymore. You do want a little bit more consistency 
and you do want a little bit more stability. But I do feel that for, especially for those of you who are single, this is a great month for you as well to take some type of trip, take some type of travel in order to replenish yourself, to refresh yourself. Because I feel like work has been for the past few months, um, it seems as if it's endless. It's like you're catching up. You know, it, it seems as if everything was backed up or piled up from last year, especially around the holiday season. And you're finally getting over that hump where the work is finally caught up and now you can breathe. And you really want to take some time off, you know, travel, go somewhere nice and quiet and to to be on your own because I feel like you're a little bit energetically burned out, okay? Um, I'm sorry it's not a great love reading and I was hoping, you know, it would be a little bit more romantic but based on the, the spread, I do sense that for a lot of you, um, you're a little bit burned out and you need some R&R, &R, okay? 